contour the truth on the definition of egg whites and the different types of egg whites. So what are egg whites? So when we say egg whites, now when used as an adjective now according to the Merriam-Webster Miriam dictionary, this relates to or resembles a horse or a closely related animal. Now according to the Cambridge dictionary, uh, egg wine is a term that is connected with horses or appearing similar to a horse. Egg wine is also defined as a single toed hoofed animals, and this may include horses, asses, and zebras. What are the main types of egg wines? So the main types of egg wines are donkeys, mules, and of course we have the horses. What are donkeys and how do we differentiate it from horses, which is our uh, baseline of comparison. So a donkey, in terms of its size, now it's much smaller in structure than a horse. They are considered to be hardy animals, now meaning that they are resilient animals, and they have the ability to withstand injury or hysteria under stress. In terms of the reproductive uh, parameters, now in terms of the gestation period, the donkeys have a longer gestation period compared with that of the horses. In terms of the anatomy or the physiology of the digestive system, so a donkey has a tougher digestive system, therefore its food needs are considered to be less demanding as that of the horse. In terms of their strength and power, so they, have a, they are considered to be slower and less powerful compared to that of the horses. So another characteristic of donkeys is that they are considered to be extremely intelligent animals and have a strong sense of survival. Again, they are hardy animals. Uh, in terms of the skin, a donkey's skin is quite different from that of the horse. Donkeys do not have a protective undercoat like that of the horses. Therefore, they need shelter from climatic conditions. Uh, in terms of the attention and care needs of the donkey, so they have the same needs as that of the horse, so they need trimming of the feet, vaccination, and grooming. What are the terminologies associated with donkeys? A jack is a male donkey. A jenny or a jennet is a female donkey. So when we are going to mate a female horse or a mare and a male donkey, that will result a mule. When we are going to mate a stallion or a male horse and that of a female donkey, the offspring is a hinny. So this offspring, the, the offspring of the, uh, the, the, the mule, no, particularly in the hini, are considered to be sterile animals because of the uneven number of chromosomes. This is a diagram no, of a donkey. So the donkeys are considered to be completely separate species uh, to horses and ponies as they have different number of chromosomes. In terms of the physical characteristics, so they have a longer uh, longer ears compared to that of the horses. Another feature is that they have uh, their coats now are considered to be less waterproof and their manes, so this is the mane of the horse, uh, mane of the donkey, and the manes and the tails are considered to be thinner uh, compared to that of the horse. This is largely because donkeys originate from Africa and are designed to cope with warmer climate. So in terms of the hoof, Donkey's hooves are smaller and more upright compared to that of the horses and the ponies. They are also less likely to run away when faced with danger compared to horses and ponies. The mules have a donkey father and a horse mother, and they often inherit the best qualities of both. Again, they are typically very strong for their size compared to horses and can cope with bad weather better than donkeys. So these are the major differences no, between the characteristic features of the head parts of the horse, donkey, and mules. These are the main types of equine um, species. For the uh, when we are going to compare the three in terms of the in terms of the ears. No? So for horses, they have a relatively short ears compared to that of the donkey and the mule. So the, the mule and the donkey have a long ears and for the donkeys they have a darkened the ears have are, uh, are darkened at the edges 
Uh, another feature is the eyes. So for horses, they have a small round eyes compared to the, the donkey and the mule, which have a wide eyes. For the face, the horses and the mule have a relatively long face compared to that of the donkey. The mule is also characterized by a large muzzle. We can also differentiate you know, the three horse, donkey, and mule in terms of their the the main part, you know, the main part. So for horses, they have a luscious mane. For donkeys, you now they have a minimal mane. Another is on the tail. So for horses, you now again they have a luscious tail compared to that of the donkey. So for donkeys, they have a relatively shorter tail compared to that of the horse. Another is on the limb. Now for mule, they have a relatively thinner limb. We also have the back. Now so for a mule, they have a slightly curved back. For horses, they have a curved back. And for donkeys, they are characterized by the presence of a dorsal line. Donkeys also have this what we call dorsal stripe or dorsal line. This is uh, this line begins at the base of their mane, not the base of their mane, and it follows their spine down to their to their backs towards their tail. Uh, we also have the shoulder stripe that runs across their shoulders from one shoulder across their backs to the other shoulder. So the donkeys they have crosses. So the the this characteristic is also known as the crosses on their back because it is a trait passed down genetically throughout the history to modern-day donkeys.